okay and these are the things and what about the ai report okay uh, as you know that uh Seventeen student doesn't have any AI capabilities, like the student, uh, like the instructor one, the one I am showing you. See, in the AI thirty three percent AI, and this AI report is much much value than any AI report available in the market. Like uh, there are lots of lots of AI checker uh, in the Google or internet. But the thing is, this thirty three percent AI detection. Is the one most value okay because this is the institution this this ai part will be monitored by the institution according to this percentage your assignment grades decide so this is turning in instructor okay it's not a student okay and this is the looks how it look instructor account so uh, what's making difference from student account and other AI checker or other plagiarism checker? Okay, let me tell you for a simple example like uh, other plagiarism checker, uh, they don't store the database as this uh, turn it in. Like for example, whenever you submit the assignment, the whole submission is going to be stored in your in Turnitin database. They have a largest number of uh, Turnitin uh, assignment. It means academic assignment database okay so in terms of accuracy Turnitin is the most i'll say in terms of plagiarism uh, because they have the large number of database particularly from the student database okay so uh this is Turnitin and this is how your professor is going to check your assignment if you are using ai then you are going to get caught okay so for example in the this section uh you can uh, teacher will going to check in any uh, part okay so for example i already submitted but let me submit it again and i'm going to upload choose file and this is my work and upload okay turn it in is very easy to use but it's a very uh academic thing it's it's not good for uh like web application or web publishing it's it's meant for only academic work okay so uh submit to turn it in it's a no repository because this will not going to store any database to turn it in okay so uh i just submitted and it's not showing similarity nor flag because we need to refresh once okay and after that it's showing 70 percent similarity and when i click on the title it's uh open feedback studio okay turn it in have lots of lots of product i can take it uh and this originality uh, i don't know much about it but i uh, preferred uh, so far i only use this turnitin uh, which is provided uh, okay so uh, this is for only tutorial okay so see similarity okay and uh, 37 sim overall similarity okay so these are the similarity see in the red section these are the all similarity and you can download by uh see similarity report ai report digital report and original submission the file and you can download the similarity report okay this is how it's downloaded okay and it's downloading and turnitin is not the fastest software you will experience okay it's little bit uh slow but it will do the work okay so when i open this say turnitin okay and you will see uh seven percent overall similarity this is the turnitin submission id it's very important okay and submission date okay and these are the things and what about the ai report okay uh, as you know that uh turnitin student doesn't have any ai capabilities like the student uh, like the instructor one the one i am showing you see in the ai 33 percent ai and this ai report is much much value than any ai report available in the market like uh, there are lots of lots of ai checker uh, in the google or internet but the thing is this 33 percent ai detection is the one most value okay because this is the institution this this ai part will be monitored by the institution according to this percentage your assignment grades decide okay so this is the ai generated and uh, if someone said that why why should i use the uh, means uh, 
AI, uh, uh, why should I use other, uh, this, uh, why should I use uh, Turnitin? I'm not, see, you cannot use Turnitin, of course, you are a student, this only mean for uh, teacher. So, the best you can do is, you, you should use less AI like ChatGPT or this Gemini Cloud and recently launched uh, DeepSec, I don't know what is the output of their AI. And what if you use ChatGPT and you try to manipulate? Okay, this is the AI generated text. Like if you use Quillboard or Spinwriter or any uh, paraphraser, like you try to manipulate the content and this will going to be increased. Okay, uh, I got it. And this will, if this one has zero and this is 33, then AI will be same 33. Okay. So, and uh, I recently made the video also how to bypass Turnitin, means the upcoming video how to bypass Turnitin, like how can you can bypass Turnitin okay so uh it will it will be my suggestion then uh you will use less ai and if you are using then use smartly okay don't directly copy paste from chat gpt and and put it into your assignment you are going to be get caught okay so this is the turn it in account and this is not available for purchase officially okay because turn it in doesn't sell anything uh to personal uh means personal uh, individual it's only available to uh university and academy and let's uh like uh turn it in okay turn it in turn it in uh dot com turn it in dot com okay let's go into the uh this is the website okay this is the website and partnership partners they have lots of lots of partner okay and if you can more uh you can you can you can uh get more detail regarding this turn it in by contact cell for see this is not for student okay this is for only institution okay and company and institution name you just put it divide which country you belong from okay state and you can continue and they'll contact okay and uh you sh you must have a uh, institution permit okay like you cannot purchase if you are individual or if you are not into academic uh, field at least you should have a uh, institution or company okay so they will provide you more much uh detail in turn it in dot turn it in. you can contact also them and uh this is the turn it in. i'll link down the uh url of turn it in and you can contact them okay so and the, this video is purpose is only for a uh, tutorial okay so that you know that as a student as a teacher you can do lots of things with turn it in and you can check whether the student is using ai or not and if you are student what you can prevent and you should work smartly you cannot copy chat gpt content anymore okay thank you have a nice day